Hello, fellow brawlers. I'm Carlos. <laughs> it's time to brawl. Lex, you got you got a you, a British accent. I know. It's weird. <laughs> it was weird. I got off the plane and I was like, oh, <laughs> went in Rome. <laughs> no, guys. If you guys don't know Arch, you guys have absolutely got to check him. He's one of my really good friends. I actually am in London, and he came over and treated me to some fish and chips. It was great. We're doing a video here talking about end game content and how Brawl Stars is too simple right now. So we're gonna talk a little bit about that. It might be a little bit controversial, very different style of video than we're used to. I'm in a hotel, so like, sorry about the weird lighting and stuff. Here is the dilemma that I think Brawl Stars is facing right now. I don't think it's a problem immediately, okay? I, I think right now for the time being, for the very short future, and I wanna know what you guys think about this because the whole idea here is like change my mind. I think that Brawl Stars is too simple and I wanna know what you guys think about it. So the idea, is that pretty easy for people to like get the new brawlers and you check them out and they have um, they have a speed, a movement speed, they have a range, yeah. and they have an attack and a super. Yeah. And it's like four things that really, and I, I guess HP, like five things that basically defines what a brawler is. And you have that for every single brawler in the game. But then you also have like other games that like Every, you know, every character in League of Legends has like five different attacks. They have like an ultimate ability, they have like passive characteristics, and it's like really, really complex. And League of Legends has been doing incredibly well for a really long time. So the question is, is Brawl Stars too simple? Will players get to the end game and realize that like, hey, I've kind of already learned like the majority of everything. I think I'm fine and then move on to the next thing. Um, so with that being said, what do you think about that? Do you think that Brawl Stars is too simple? For me, it's like it's difficult to say because, like, um, I think we can both agree that when we first started playing, it was back way, way back in beta, and the game That's is true. such a different beast now than it was then. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of hard to relate now to what the new player experience is when they first start Brawl Stars. I know for me, it was very much like I wanted to play it because I knew it was like the next big game. Yeah. Um, so we got past any kind of like moments of any uh, hiccups. We're like, it's a super slow game. I, I can play through this to get to it because I know it's gonna be great. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So like we have to kind of put our mindsets in the idea of like being that that new player. And like, you know, a big issue in the past prior to the global was retention, right? And players were not playing the game and sticking with the game, so perhaps that simplicity came from, well, it was already in place prior to, to that, but like, I think that that may be something which if they were to increase, uh, the, the, if they were to more complicate that and add new things, like, would that make it harder to continue to retain those players, you know? It, 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 the simplicity at the moment for me um, is great in the early stage because I think you guys will agree, I know that you definitely think this, that that introduction phase is too... Too complex. Yeah. The tutorial is not a very good tutorial. No. I mean, I love the developers, they make some really great stuff, but to me the tutorial just needs to be way more in depth. Like, you guys saw my wife playing Pearl <laughs> Stars. I mean, she, she legitimately like, had like a... Like, I've been playing since day one, like, I could, I was having a hard time explaining it to her. Like, the tutorial, yeah, she was lost. And the thing was, I, I literally got, like, a new iPad, iPad recently and had to install a load of new games, uh, like, Heyday. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah. a big Heyday fan. Uh, you'd be surprised. <laughs> I've got a really good farm. Um, <laughs> and, like, and I, I realized that to get to the super simple ID part in the settings, I actually had to go through so much like a tutorial, mm -hmm. which made me realize how there is literally no tutorial for Brawl Stars. Yeah, there's... So it's it's simple, the game is massively simple, but yeah. like it actually confuses a lot of people. Like in Clash Royale, it's like, okay guys, if you place this card at this moment, at this exact time, this will happen. In Brawl Stars, it's like, well, if this happens, then maybe you should do that, but maybe <laughs> you shouldn't. And you should probably just like pay attention, like look at your teammates, and there's grass, and there's a Shelly in the bush, yeah. and it's like, oh my gosh! This is confusing! And that's that's a big thing, like, for Clash of Clans, Clash Royale, I guess Heyday, <laughs> literally non-gamers, anybody, yeah. you can pick up off the street, you can hand it to them, they can play through the tutorial and be like, okay, I kind of have an idea, like, they might be really confused, at least somewhat, you know, but like, if they have played any type of game in the past, they're not going to be super confused, but for Brawl Stars, if you haven't played a MOBA game, it's like, I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. And so, 
So you're, you're absolutely right. So I think, but that can be fixed with a better tutorial. Yeah. That absolutely. Yeah. What we're talking about today is end game content. Yeah. Is there a lack of complexity to the game that's actually going to um, result in players, you know, dropping off earlier yeah. already? So we're releasing this video right now after the game has been released for about five months, six months. Yeah. Um, so half a year, as you guys are, I would really want to know what you guys think in the comment section below. You've been playing for half of a year. Do you think that Brawl Stars is too complex at this point? Uh, or complex, in, is it just fine? Do you think it is too simple? Are you getting to the point where you're like, yeah, I'd really like more, more stuff. So let us know. Like the simplicity does make a big difference from the players that are really, really good from the players that are just like very good. Because yeah. like you, you have so little to work with. You have to really start yeah, to think outside the box. That's blocks. true. Because like right now, like basically like a pro player, <laughs> like, okay, you've got your super, you've got your attack. So either you have like attack then super, or super then attack. Yeah. And that's it. Yeah. <laughs> like and so like in order for you to really get better, like you can't really pull those combos. You have to pull combos with your teammates, which this game is a team playing game. Yeah. Um, although I think most people are actually just playing showdown, but um yeah. but the thing is like no, that's top level. I sure. want A, B, C, you know, if you have three three abilities, I want to be able to do A, B, C, A, C, B, B, C, A, C, A, B, you know, like all these different types yeah. of things. If, you, if we added a third ability, and this is my idea, this, my idea to like in, increase the complexity at the higher end spectrum, not at the beginning, I'll talk about that a little bit later, but like more than one ability, like that's a, that's a something that like I think would be really beneficial. Um, so we, we'll talk about that, like how I think that could be implemented a little bit later. But I'm curious what you think about having adding a third ability. My idea is a, a, um, a an ability. It's not another joystick. We already have a lot of joysticks. We're not going diagonal. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to go diagonal. <laughs> so we have our super, which is our active ability. We have our star power, which is a passive ability. What I want is a third ability that is not another joystick. I want it to be like you tap it and it activates for a little bit. Okay, so I'm thinking like for Colt because I've been using him as an example, you tap it and then all of a sudden he dashes in the direction that he's moving. Okay? Yeah. Or he all of a sudden deals double damage for like his next attack. You know what I mean? The thing with Daryl that I've always wondered uh, for me was like, why give that one brawler a super which can earn over time? Like yeah. that, that never kind of rang well with me. Like and. If they're gonna have like two supers, it'd be really cool if one just activated over time. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. And the other one was just activated by the amount of hits. Yeah, yeah. So then the question is, is that too complex? And when do we introduce that into the game? Because, like, Lady Kairos, if she starts playing the game, and I'm like, hey, so you have your regular attack, uh, one joystick, then you have your super, which is another joystick. Oh, and once we max out your accounts, because I'm gonna max out your account later, um, <laughs> then, then you also have to worry about the, the star powers. And uh, then she's like, wait, and then you also have to move with the other hand. She's like, there's so much going on right here. You know, we don't want that. <laughs> we want it, people to, at least personally, I think you want them to learn the game and then start to adapt to that. Yeah. Maybe even make the game a little bit even simpler at the beginning. You don't give your brawler a super until like level one, or sorry, level two or level three. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that people can like learn brawler and then they unlock the super. Then bring the star power from level 10 down to like level six. Which people, people would love that. Because yeah, like, it, you know, if you're waiting for your star power, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then Superstar made a change, and you're, suddenly it was like the next up that you're gonna get free star yeah. power. Yeah, exactly. You'd be pumped. Yeah, and like star powers, right? I mean, most of them are like, they, they have to do small minor tweaks to the game, but they don't make a big impact. It's not a, a huge impact. Yeah, I was gonna say like some brawlers like have obviously a better star power that's more relevant. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they are constantly balancing. And we're actually quite happy they, they sort of went back and addressed some of those, like Piper's like star power yeah, now, yeah, yeah. like so much better. And um, uh, not Piper, sorry. Nina's um, was better. Barley's yeah, was better. Yeah. And stuff like that. Yeah. Um, but like, yeah, to, to kind of expand upon the game more, I just think there needs to be something else to kind of like revitalize the game. I think it's kind of stale at the top end for like a lot yeah, of people right now. It really Having is. Having something different that would kind of like really revitalize that would be a really great step in the right direction. Yeah. And so then the idea is, you know, level two or level three, boom, you got your super. Level six, you get your star power. And then at level 10, you get this new ability that's like really special. Or maybe even they leave it exactly how it is right now and then they add a level 11, which is this yeah. new ability, you know, that people have to progress towards and they can learn, you know, that's, a, that's another thing. Now, I know that there are gonna be people in this video, they're gonna be like, whoa, Kairos, a level 11, 
I'm not even like close to maxing out my account right now. Like, don't do that right now. And I get that. Yeah, I get totally it get it. I mean, what what is there? Like after you after you memorize all of the brawlers' or accounts and things like that, and you learn good positioning, what is there to improve your skill as a player? Oh, you asked me the question. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> what? What is there? Next season, you're pushing to twenty thousand, right? Yeah. You're pushing twenty thousand trophies, which is insane. You guys gotta follow him on YouTube and it's Twitch. Gonna be a crazy YouTube. Yeah, it's gonna be yeah. crazy. It's gonna be live streaming. It's gonna be awesome. What's, be, what's the, the difference the moment, between like a thirteen thousand or me a twelve, you know, thirteen thousand trophies and twenty thousand trophies? Like, yeah, it's um, like when the new product comes out, like I'm getting it to eight hundred on day one. Yeah. And like I've got so many boxes uh, to max out my borders. There's, there's no progression right now for me. Yeah. Uh, I mean, the problem is that it's. It's not really affecting uh, a wide percentage of the community. Yeah. And a big um, part of this video is, hey, this is an issue that needs to be addressed before most people get to that point. But yeah, go on. Yeah, exactly that. And um, you know, I think that they need to bring they need to bring that back in some way to make someone who is a more experienced player, who is able to like, you know, get their borders higher up and in levels quicker, like what is next for them? Like, cause at the moment, like the end game content's lacking so much for me. Um, yeah. And there's got to be some other way to... to and, and the game is made for like end game content. You know what, like, like the idea of like competitive esports in Brawl Stars is massive. Yeah. But it's lacking so much on the end game right now. Which is totally understandable. We're only six months into the game. Yeah. Um, and like actually being released globally. Like most players aren't anywhere even close to that point. So I get that. But like it... It's, it needs to happen, you know? I Personally, I think that Supercell has to make Brawl Stars more complex on the competitive scene. Yeah. I mean, the Clash of Clans, for example, you know, you're restricted by time. Yes, you can gem, but like, if you want to kind of upgrade, you, you've got to wait that time yeah. to really kind of progress. In Brawl Stars, you're not really restricted by that same element. Mm, like, it's like, really you know, uh, you can just basically put in the time and, and depending on your win to loss ratio, you can pretty much get to where you want to be very I quickly. Mean, there are people that, I mean, obviously you have to be really skilled to do this, but you can you can beat top players as a level one character if you are playing smart, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. people push level one brawlers into 500 trophies in Showdown, or, or in, in other game modes too. Like, it's, the skill cap is way different. And I think aesthetic stuff and rewards is, is kind of easy. That, that yeah. to me, is like easy end game content, which is not a hard thing for Supercell to implement at all. So you're um, talking skins and stuff, right? Yeah, like, yeah. yeah, a special skin when you reach level 10 or like 600, 700 trophies or like, you know, more rewards. It, it's such an easy thing to do. Like, I think what we're talking about is kind of like, how do we kind of like actually expand upon the game itself? Yeah, the gameplay. Yeah. And and even if they like did, let's say they added another three levels, you know, so like that, that, that did widen the gap a little bit. And they also, don't worry, and they also increase rewards throughout the gameplay so people can max out their account maybe even faster. I don't know. You know, like just adding some more stuff for end game content to be a little bit more more exciting and fun because it's yeah. it's just basically like I mean you have to be good to push. You know that. Yeah. And yeah. you have and to play have good with teammates. And you have to play yeah, play with yeah. smart or good people and stuff. But like it's really like how do you teach someone to have better positioning? Yeah. Or, I mean it's it's one of the reasons why I really value like our you know, community of content creators because like it's kind of hard to like explain to new players how to get better. And in a way, this is the issue, right? It's because it, it kind of is confusing because there are so many like things that are going on at once that is there's not a way for you adding, to actually improve. Yeah, and is adding something more to that gonna yeah. resolve well or cause more problems? I mean, it, it, it's gonna it's gonna widen the gap. You know, pro players the the skill cap at the higher end of the. the ceiling will get better, or like get more extreme, it'll widen, and that's good for the competitive scene if you ask me. Um, and then also the players that are more skilled are going to be better at outplaying other players that are higher leveled. You know what I mean? I mean, and I like that. I like that. And then obviously, you know, people that are um, new to the game and won't ever like reach that competitive level, then they won't have to worry about those additional abilities because they won't push up high enough where they're going to be facing other people that are going to have that, you know? Lady Kairos. She's never gonna have to worry about any of this that we're talking about because yeah. she's not gonna reach thirteen thousand trophies, ever. Yeah. I love you, girl. It's not happening. <laughs> it's not. <laughs> so Brawl Stars will always be simple for her. Yes, exactly. It's about introducing things at the right time. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that's nice. So then another thing for us to think about is uh, if they, if they have to add a new ability to every new brawler, 
that's going to postpone how long they're gonna, they have to add that to every new brawler that they put out. It's going to take time for them to, to do that. You know what yeah. I mean? Would you rather have a new brawler or would you rather have a new ability for every brawler? Sooner. For me, like, absolutely, like a new ability. Yeah. Yeah. Because, like, you know, that would be times by 25. Like, that yeah. that alone, just like that, that concept being introduced would, like, expand my enjoyment, like, tenfold. Like, so much, yeah. It would just, like, I, I completely open up the game. I think we'd see so much variation just, like, in the months to follow from that kind of introduction of just one new thing but spread across all the brawlers. Yeah. It would make the game feel so different and revitalized for me. Yeah. Yeah, anyways, so we talked about that. What's next? That's a great video. That's a <laughs> great way to end the video. Hope you guys enjoyed this. <laughs> Make sure you guys go check out my buddy Ark here. He's hilarious. He's a hoot and he knows where to take a, good, a man to get some good fish and chips. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. For, oh, before you ask. Well, they, they're already going to ask. No, this, I'm not in London for a Supercell event. <laughs> for now, this is Ark and Kairos Stein ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.